we're an engineering company with a lot of cool stuff, and we're actually located out here in Ontario, California. Today we're bringing to you some very exciting new equipment from AEM, namely a new Uego wideband that actually has a dial indicator, or better yet, an indicator needle. Something that's really great about wideband air fuel ratio meters that allows you to tune your vehicle and monitor some of the tuning habits of your tuners out there. Make sure that your engine is also running at optimum air fuel ratios for reliability and power. And allows some of those individuals out there that are self-tuners to really have a stab at hitting their cars at the appropriate air fuel ratio. So, this unit just came out this April 2009. Let's see what's inside of the box from AEM. It comes with a very nice gauge itself and what's so cool about this gauge you have access to both a black and also silver ring bezels to complement the interior of your car so I'll put this down in a moment here in addition to that you have a wide band O2 sensor this is not just any type of O2 sensor but it's a very nice wide band O2 sensor it's a Bosch unit an LSU 4.2 top of the line only the best what AEM uses in addition to that we have a harness that allows you to connect the power readings, a better yet, power and ground, sensor ground, and also a zero to five volt output for some of the very popular engine management systems out there. And we also have a harness that goes directly to the Bosch LSU 4.2, connects directly to the, from the gauge to the white band also sensor itself. AEM was also kind enough to provide some butt connectors and also a bung for you to weld into your exhaust if it's not there already. Last but not least, detailed instructions. Let's throw this, no, we should go through this instead of throwing it away. We'll go through these instruction manuals and install it in this very nice Civic EG turbocharged, put together by JJ Motorsports out in the high desert, California, owned by Type 2 Graphics. They do all the graphics and whatnot for our team on the race cars and everything affiliated with BC Moto. So we are going to take a look at this 500 plus street horsepower engine and install this wideband sensor with new gauge to it. Now it's time to install the wideband Uego into the 92 turbocharged Civic. A lot of companies like Autometer make two inch cups that work extremely well with the AEM wideband Uego. So the first thing we're going to do is take a marker and mark where we want to install this device. So it's going to be very simple. Just position it towards the driver because he's the one who's going to care about seeing this in it anyway. Make two marks. Like so. And now we have two very nice marks. Now you have to make sure that when you drill, that you're drilling a place where there are no wires underneath so you can have any contact whatsoever. So, very nice handy drill bit. And we're going to drill two small holes. That simple. Okay. Place this out of harm's way. There are some semi self tapping screws that come in a kit from Autometer. We're going to use that and simply screw into the hole that we just drew a moment ago. Voila. First part done. Okay, now it's time to grab the Uego gauge and throw it into the console here. Connecting the wideband Uego sensor to the harness is literally a snap. All you have to do is take the harness as so. It's so color coordinated, so it's so easy to remember. White plug goes into the white receptacle, as so. And it's that simple. And the wiring is a snap as well. Not literally, but very, very easy. The two reds are easily distinguishable by color, of course, are the constant power positive sources. The two blacks, constant ground for the white band Uego sensor. And for those of you who do a lot of data logging, who would like to use your white band as a means of closed loop operation, or to monitor things through constant monitoring with an AM EMS or similar device, you will find these two leads very interesting. You have a white positive analog output and a negative, negative analog output as well from the wideband Uego sensor. On top of that, this gauge also has an opportunity for you to illuminate it at night by connecting this to the illumination circuit in your vehicle.
That way, when you turn the lights on, the bezel lights up inside as well. Last but not least, you have a pink wire, which should go to your switched 12 volt source. We're going to hook these up and see how this works. Okay, we just found the 12 volt constant, 12 volt switch, and grounds on the chassis. We also took the liberty of finding the illumination column wire, so we can hook it up to the AEM UEGO gauge as well. Now what I'm going to do is uh, button up a few things. We use some soldering, so I'm going to use some of this black electrical tape to close up the soldering joints, and we'll give the AM UEGO a test now, drive. We're going to connect the Bosch LSU 4.2 to the harness of the AM UEGO gauge. It's very simple as well to do this. You just align the upper line to the upper line groove. You also see the small slot give a positive connection and a click. That way it locks and you have no chance of losing the connection between the sensor and the UEGO gauge harness. What I'm going to do next is leave this hanging slightly so we can get a free air test of the wide band UEGO. And if it works well, we should hover in the 19 to 20 air.